Well, it's date night at the Reloading Bench on Outdoor Quest TV, and I'm Vanessa Harrop. And I'm TJ Schwanke. Now what the heck have you got there? It's Hornady's new premium funnel kit. It comes with bushings for each caliber, and the funnel is anti-static. If only you'd get as excited about the Christmas presents I get you. You're a real gear nerd, aren't you? What gave you that idea? <laughs> On today's episode, we're going to share with you some of the incredible hunting bounty found here in Alberta. Did you know that we have 10 huntable species of big game, over 30 species of waterfowl, and 8 upland game bird species? And don't forget, there's several species of varmints too. There's literally hunting opportunities 365 days of the year in Alberta. Now, what did you buy now? It's Hornady's Digital Caliber, isn't it cool? <laughs> oh man, before you spend any more money, let's get on with the show. First, we're headed down to Southern Alberta and we're gonna be hunting pronghorn with archery gear. Now, decoying these prairie speedsters is about as much fun as it gets, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Then we're headed on an urban goose hunt only one week before Christmas. So we just spotted a huge group of antelope over there and um, there's one buck in there in particular These could be 15, 16 inches. So we'd like to get a little closer and uh, we're hoping to use these decoys and there's a set of corrals just through this gate. So what we're hoping to do is weave our way through the corrals and get as far out as we can and then just start sneaking in, pop up the decoys. Hopefully that buck will come running. We've been watching him for a little bit and it looks as though he's chasing all these other smaller bucks away and he's quite active. So what we're hoping is this buck will attract his attention. He's looking straight at us. We got two does over here. So we can't move in any closer. We're kind of batting down here. He's really interested, but he's not super spooky about us, but he just won't move in closer. For us, the hunt is about the journey. That journey has taken us around the globe. And we are just getting started. The journey continues on season 23 of Outdoor Quest TV.
Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Sacco Antica Firearms, demand perfection. Zeiss, we make it visible. Loa Boots, simply more. Silver Willow Taxidermy, see the difference. Closed captioning, provided by Deluxe Wall Tents, made in Canada for Canadian conditions. That was a really big buck and we had him like right on the edge of archery range like so many times but we just couldn't get him to commit. No kidding. Man, the next day though we saw another great buck with a doe near a dugout so we decided to use the topography so that we get in a little closer without being seen before popping up that decoy. Well you know sometimes if you pop that decoy up when you're really close to them you force that buck to confront you rather than gathering his doe up and taking off. I'm just noticing something here. Where did these 6.5 PRC dies come from? I was told by the nice folks at Hornady that they were out of stock and impossible to get. I got them. I mean, it helps when you're a regular customer. Okay, we made it in so far. There's a coyote right between us and the berm. We want to get to that berm and then peek over. So far, so good though. Coyote is 70 yards. I think he's just spotted us. and a coyote busts us, right? He's running away on the other side of them now. But they're like, what's up? She really wanted to come in, but that buck wanted nothing to do with us, and he kept hurting her away. But that chase was amazing. Oh, uh, man, it was, it really was. It was incredible. Now, you did end up with an unfilled tag on this hunt, but we had so much fun, and it's not like you didn't have opportunity. Oh, when you see big bucks earlier in the season, it's really hard to shoot something smaller, but that hunt was amazing. Yeah. So what you're saying is you like big bucks and you will not lie? I cannot lie.
Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Defense Aerosols, Bear Spray, for when your life depends on it. Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine. Midland Radios, communication for every adventure. So we're here with Andrew Dath, Alberta's fall flight, but it's almost kind of Alberta's winter flight now, isn't it? Oh we're yeah. We're a unique hunt here, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. It's later in the season, kind of December, kind of Southern Alberta, just kind of getting with the last of the geese here. So these are resident geese though, aren't they? Like most of the migrators have gone, a lot of these will live on the rivers and things. Yeah, like exactly. The yeah, they're all river geese. Um, it's funny, last year we were getting lots of ducks at this time too, but they seem to kind of push out, but we always seem to always have the geese around late, so it's nice. Yeah, so this is a hunt you kind of specialized in. You do, you do regular waterfall hunting earlier in the year. Yeah, I do my hunting all fall, and then like just this last uh, December stuff, late season, November, December, is just when we really make it shine here. Like just kind of it's been almost limits every day for the last week so hopefully we can kind of keep it up you you saw lots of geese in here yesterday obviously yeah they were nice and spread out yesterday and they kind of just in these areas late season like this there's so many geese that come off the rivers um it's just steady strings of them so it's kind of nice like they've been in here feeding pretty steady so the only challenge today is we're dealing with 80 kilometer an hour winds so it's yeah be a little exciting but we're not setting up in the dark which is weird too <laughs> yeah it's kind of nice like <laughs> it's a little bit of a gamble this time of year but we've had them pretty pinned like the last couple of days it's been around 11 o'clock noon is when you start to see the first couple of geese but it's always where this is early like for right now this time of year to be out here ready but it's always ready to be early than late how are we setting the decoys up here uh well we're going to set up a big u kind of pattern um the beers are really on these sprayer tracks so we're going to put the birds really tight to the sprayer tracks okay. um i'll show you guys where they are and kind of really mimic what you they like to see in the field so okay. Yeah, we'll get going with those. You guys want to start grabbing some more decoys from the trailer and I'll start directing the guys down here. So, okay, sounds good. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so if you look, that's still where the grain is, is right in there. See the head still, but the geese are pretty smart. They'll find these spots. Like you say, looks like a big stubble field, but you get on these sprayer tracks and there's feed in there. The decoys are all starting to blow over these. These low profile decoys are kind of the answer for here, but we're gonna to have to watch them today as well. All right guys, well the birds are starting to fly here a bit, so we'll do a quick safety talk and get in the blinds here. Um, the biggest thing you wanna keep in mind when you're hunting on the layout blinds, your gun's always on the top railing, point it out in a safe direction. Um, you know, that way if anything ever happens, it's not gonna blow your foot off, nothing like that's gonna go wrong. You wanna close your blind doors up. Half the fun of the being on the hunt is being able to watch the birds, the other half is being able to shoot them. So you want to be able to be in here comfortably, be able to look forward, but we don't want to have everybody up turtle necking and be looking all over the place for the birds. Because if you're doing that, the geese will see that as they're coming in and then they'll flare off and they won't come in. So you tuck your face down in here. Um, you'll hear me calling, flagging back behind everybody. I, sh I sit back behind because if I'm not shooting, there's no sense, you know, me wearing, you know, I don't need to be in the firing line with all the other guys, right? So you're in here, um, you'll hear me call the shot and it'll be a big loud kill them boys or take them boys so kill them boys you're up open your blind and then you're up on your birds here like this all right so when you're up and on your birds you have a big shooting lane a big shooting window out in front of you you never want to cross over top of your partners here like do a direct crossover you know the birds we have a really strong wind in our back today so hopefully the birds are all straight out in front and it's just good shooting that way right so we'll go and uh, part the trucks and we'll get back out here and wait it out <laughs> Okay, there's a single coming in on the left. Man, that's a big bird. Look at the size of it. Come, boys! Yep, good shooting. Okay, here comes two off the right. Come boys! Man, those birds are tough. The plumage is just so thick in late December. One at a time. Come on, goose guys! Nice shooting, guys. We got them. One at a time. Okay, these birds look committed. 
shooting my Beretta A400 here today with three inch loads of steel BB and even though these shots are close, it's, uh, it's nice to have that extra shot just to get through all that late season plumage. Come on! A lot of shooting there for one bird. <laughs> That's the only problem with this window. Once they pick it up, they are gone. This segment is brought to you by Stony Creek Hunting Gear. It's in the blood. Man, those are big birds. She is going to sleep well tonight. I'll tell you what. There's no quit in her. It's just amazing watching her work. They're just, uh, they're going to the field over now, so that's good. That last pair came from right over there, so that's perfect. Look on here. Two on the left, they're just... Come on! Good shooting, guys. Oh no. That one's going down. Here he comes back. <laughs> Go, boys. <laughs> Oh my god. What was going on at that end there, Bob? This might work out well. This is one of the bigger flocks we've had come in today. <laughs> Two are committed. Three. There we go. Come, guys. Two coming down, one straight out. A couple off the right. That one landed right in the deep place. Come, guys! There we go. These three look committed. Come boys! Nice shooting boys! <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> Well, that was way too much fun. I was running the camera the first half and TJ's like, hey, you want to slip in? So I slipped into the blind and a uh, ton of fun out here. And we're just with a great group of people. So we've got some really, really big birds. So we'll get those set up and check them out in a few minutes. It's 
so much fun. Well guys, that was a great hunt. Lots of fun. You might recognize a few faces in this uh, crowd. I want to thank SCI Calgary for inviting us along on this, on this wonderful hunt. And Andrew, you put us on some really good birds. Considering this weather, it was a little challenging. <laughs> yeah, it was a little windy today to say the least. So it definitely hurt us a bit, but seen lots of geese and uh, yeah, we did our best with what, what we got. For sure, yeah. Like uh, what I saw is they just kept flying off to the left side of us and just going over that. They did not want to come in. I don't know why. Wanted to be somewhere else and a typical case of follow the leader today for yeah. sure. That's but it. So. What a great opportunity. Big game season is over. Great time for everybody to get together. Do a little bit of duck and goose hunting. Yeah. And SCI Calgary is proud to have you guys come out and join us for a hunt. Thank you for spending the day with us. Thank you very much, David. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Outdoor Quest TV is also brought to you by these fine sponsors.